Hello again, everybody. This is Nathan Rapine with the Entrepreneurial Mindset Podcast. This is episode two, and today we're going to be talking about active listening. Your ability to learn and develop personally and professionally will largely come down to your ability to listen. This is then followed with practice and ultimately application. However, you must first open your mind, as stated earlier, and listen in order to know how to practice the concept. It's great if we're very confident in our own abilities and potential. It really can and is an excellent thing. We, however, need to consider that we do not know everything, and sometimes even over-exaggerate our own knowledge base or concealing the lack thereof. When we listen, we learn. We pick up new things and new information about the world around us. We open up our perspective to the viewpoints of others and broaden the way we can look at the world. As an entrepreneur, it's essential to possess the capability to look at the same thing in a multitude of different ways. This is how entrepreneurs find new and different ways to improve the world around us, as well as introduce things and concepts we may have never thought of ourselves. It's listening to others and their views on the world what they have specialized in, and what you can learn, and properly utilizing the knowledge you gain from active listening to improve the quality of life for yourself and others around you. Allow me to give you an example. You run a business, and you are so sure that your marketplace and target market is going to absolutely love your product. And let's even say that your test market does love your product and what you have created, and your product does not sell well to the mass marketplace. How is this possible? You continue to market it and hype up the product you know people enjoy, or at least your target market said so. You don't listen to any anything else people have to say other than your product is great or you have a really great thing going on. Why then doesn't the mass marketplace buy while your test market continues to give you um, positive uh, affirmation on the product? possible solutions after a short break. Welcome back from our short break. Before we left, uh, we posed the question, uh, how is it possible that the mass market um, is not receptive to your product or service, but your test market um, was? and gave uh, positive feedback uh, and and, and positive reviews to your product. Some of the possible um, feedback uh, and issues could be price point. People can love what you have to offer, but simply cannot afford it. Should you have asked and listened to potential consumers, you would have learned this. Maybe it was a certain feature people disliked and turned them off about the product itself. You could have asked and listened and taken out that disliked feature. Maybe it was even because it didn't have something the mass amount of your market really wanted in the first place. It's all about actively listening to your target market and your consumer and making the necessary changes and pivots to your product and service or your operations, etc. in order to cater to those who are giving your business life. Practice this by first admitting that you do not have all the answers nor do you have the knowledge base to answer all of the questions that will come your way. Fix this by first seeking out the right mentors and experts, asking the right questions, and listening to the information they have to share with you. Listen to the people that are most essential to your business, thriving or dying, your consumers. When you are talking, you are only conveying things that you already know and learning nothing. When you listen, you learn. One final thing, there's actually a talking aspect with regards to validating that you are listening. This is because of the power in paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is where you use your own set of words to confirm and clarify what the other person said. This does two things. This makes sure that you are on the same page as the person talking as well as clarifies the points for you, yourself. Once the person validates the paraphrasing you've done, 
You can either create a mental summary of that statement or verbally convey that summary to the person. People you talk with on a professional basis will greatly appreciate this process, especially if you are in talks with, let's say, a negotiation. Many times you'll gain access to the real pain points the folks across the table are experiencing. It's good if you can keep your mouth shut and listen. It's better if you can paraphrase, and it's best if you can then summarize a validated paraphrasing. To leave you guys with a quote by Dean Jackson, listening is an art that requires attention over talent, spirit over ego, others over self. That concludes this segment. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, on active listening. Talk to you guys again soon. Thanks.